<laughs> All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to the Blah Blah Bean. It's a vlog slash blog slash Instagram where we are following our year here in France. Yeah, you're just uh, checking out our last week slash two weeks. This one because we kind of had a busy schedule and we were traveling. We didn't get to uh, document our previous week, so we just mashed them both together. We hope you enjoy. Our first day of this section of the trip is actually Halloween. So October 31st, we woke up that day, went on a run. Early morning run. Early morning run. Three miles or so. Yeah, I think it was three miles. Not bad, really cool. Mm -hmm. Came back home and did our online French class and uh, had breakfast. And I think we just lounged around the rest of that day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just kind of hung out and then didn't really do anything until we decided to go out since it was Halloween and we went to a brewery in Old Town and we were surprised at how many people were actually dressed up so that was kind of cool. Yeah there's a lot of people walking the streets and masks and and uh, just costume. One funny thing we noticed is that there's not a lot of funny costumes they're more scary costumes. Mm -hmm. Lots of masks and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the light up ones were really popular this year. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> and you'd see a ton of people driving with masks on. It was kind of. It was kind of scary. It was just to like. <laughs> so I'm you like, know, is, is it the purge or something? It kind of felt like the purge, so it made Halloween a little bit more spooky than usual. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I was surprised to see. We actually saw trick or treaters on our way down, and because I didn't really think that Halloween was a well wide celebrated holiday mm. in France, so that was kind of cool. So the day after that was another lazy day. Pretty much just had a good breakfast. And then later we went to Monoprix, which is a grocery store here. I had actually broken a glass. So we decided to go out and find one to replace it. And we ended up getting there. None of them matched. Uh, so we left with cookies. And beer. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's got nothing we went in there for. But yeah. sometimes you just need cookies and beer. Totally. Yes, that was all for that day. And then the next day, Wednesday, we just relaxed. Again. Um, <laughs> didn't do a whole lot and just packed for Portugal. We were leaving the next day. Yeah, we knew it would get kind of crazy traveling, so we wanted to take the first or the few prior days to kind of relax and just hang out. So, yeah, it was weird. I was sitting on the couch, and then all of a sudden, uh, Lindsay's talking out the window. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then suddenly she's going to the door. So, at our other place, our apartment was on the ground floor, le rez de chaussée. So we could see people going in and out of the main entrance, which we were right next to. And I was sitting there doing some French um, practice and study. And this guy just comes up over the little wall and just like stares at me like, and I'm kind of just like, what the heck? And so I like look at him again and he's like, and so I like open the window and I was like, bonjour. And he's like, bonjour, blah, 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 blah. like the door is closed. And I was like, okay. And he's like, oh, can you let me in? And I was like, oh yeah. Like, so I go over, go around and like let him in. And I don't have shoes on because I was trying to go quickly. And so I was running in bare feet, which was kind of gross. But so I opened the door, let him in. And then while we're in the hallway, he's asking me about the ventilation of the place, which was kind of weird. And earlier that day, I guess our ventilation wasn't really working. It turned off. Yeah, so it seemed like a valid question. I was like, oh, like, yeah, it wasn't working. And he's like, is it working now? And I was like, I think so. And he's like, you think or you know? And I was like, I don't know. So he like <laughs> came into our apartment, which is probably a red flag, and looked at our ventilation and stuff. And it wasn't, it was working then. So I was like, oh, it wasn't working earlier, but it's working now. He's like, okay, thanks for your help. Bye. And so it was one of those situations where Looking back, I'm like, I should not have let him in the apartment. But in the moment, it's like, you don't really know what to do. You kind of freeze up. So and you just like, let it happen. Right. And I think it's harder uh, with a language barrier for sure. Yeah. So it was a learning experience for sure. Yeah. I mean, nothing bad happened. No. But I, yeah. And he, I guess he passed the vibe check a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, later that night, we just had dinner and... We basically had to go to bed early, but not early enough because we had a Lingoda or a French online French class at two in the morning. And we did this so we didn't have to worry about doing it in during our flight or during traveling because mm -hmm. the next day we're going to Portugal. And the rule is we have to 
do a class every single day. So that day we did it at two in the morning and I didn't sleep at all. I didn't either. Yeah, so we did our class basically at 2 a.m. and that was Thursday. Yeah, and then right after that, we had to take an Uber to the to the airport because all the transit system was closed since it was uh -huh. early. So we got there and we ended up getting there super early because it took us like five minutes to get through security because yeah. no one else was there. Yeah, and, and just kind of hung out in the terminal for about an hour-ish. Then we flew to Portugal. So we arrived in Portugal. We had to wait for Pierce and Shireen because they were arriving from a little island off the coast of Portugal. And they were about, an hour, it was about an hour's wait. So they came, they arrived. It was so great to see them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Pierce is my brother and Shireen is my sister-in-law. So it was really nice to see some family and get to travel with them. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we basically got to our little bus that took us to our rental car place and drove all the way to Lagos mm -hmm. from Lisbon. Yep. And I would say it's about a four hour drive. Just about. The drive was nice. It was really cool to see a lot of the cork trees and there's tons of them on our drive all the way down. We were going to the Algarve region, which is uh, the Southern part of Portugal. Yeah, and we ended up in Lagos. We got our Airbnb there and just kind of hung out that night. Oh, one thing though, while we were driving down, we stopped for lunch at this place. Um, with good reviews and we were trying to get there but we were su super confused on the traffic laws and things because in the United States a two-way road has a yellow dashed line or a yellow solid line or something like that but here it's white dashed so we got kind of confused on which way cars were going and we thought we were going the wrong way because there was a sign that said don't go this way but then a car was coming at us and we turned around and then the same thing happened on the other side, so we didn't really know what to do, and we were kind of freaking out. What does it's the thing fun. tell us? Well, it tells us to go that way. No, it says that way! It no, says it doesn't. Left. It, says top, left, it says Kyle. left, Kyle. It says no. left. Okay, no. What do you say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but eventually we uh, got to this uh, little place to eat lunch, and it was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The next morning, we had our lingo to class. And we had breakfast and we decided to go walk around Lagos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was really nice because we got to see some of the old architecture of Lagos. And we actually went through these cool tunnels along the beach side and got to see this really awesome bridge connecting two cliff sides together. And then back into town for lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And along the way, there was these three guys sitting on a bench a little bit past us. One of them turns around, and we didn't know if he was drunk or not, but one of them turns around and he's like, Oh! America! America! And then Kyle and I were kind of stunned. We like, didn't really know what to do. Because like, we were like, gosh, how did he know? We didn't, yeah. we didn't really think we gave off the appearance of American. But, you know, but I guess probably. somehow he found out. But <laughs> we had, we were pretty much spe speechless, but Pierce decided to say, Portugal! Portugal! <laughs> So, which was a great response because he was like, yeah, Portugal. Because Kyle and I didn't know if he was like making fun of us or not. Right. But Pierce, he was like, yeah, like, woohoo, Portugal, uh -huh. USA. We decided to look at the situation as glass half full. At least Pierce did. Kyle and I didn't really know what to do. We were just like, yeah. Totally. So. Anyways, we went to lunch. Yeah, I had a really good burger. Lindsay had a very oily pasta. So not as good, but... And then we decided to walk around a little bit more, went back to our Airbnb, napped, lounged, and then went out for the night and- Got some beers. Got some beers. Cerveja. Cerveja. And then came back and had pizza and wine. Mm hmm? Yes, pizza and wine. It's very good. Yeah. The next day we went out for breakfast and we found this nice little restaurant that served probably the best food I had in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. And it was all breakfast food. It was really good. Yeah. And it was popping every single time we went by. Mm -hmm. So it was a really popular place. Yeah, it was really good. And then as soon as the sun came out and it was a little warmer, we decided to go to the beach. So we grabbed some snacks from the supermarket across the street and drove to the cliff sides where we ended up having a picnic. And then after that, we tried to get down to the beach. There was this huge wild goose chase climbing over all these rocks and like all these sharp shell things and mm -hmm. we eventually got to the beach 
got to get in a little bit, hang around, and... Yeah, it was really pretty because the beach, a lot of the beach is like cliffside. So there's cliffs and then down below there's a beach and it was just really pretty to just to be like below the cliffs and it's kind of scary because the uh, um, structure of the cliffs are made out of sandstone. There's all the signs everywhere that would say, oh, danger, fragile cliffs. Uh -huh. I think the funniest <laughs> part was there was this walkway and like half of it had a chunk taken out and there's just a fence around it. And I just thought that was satirical. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, it broke off, but yeah. you can go around it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was a little sketchy, but it was, it was fun mm -hmm. to say the least. But other than that, we just hung out on the beach and played some hacky sack and that was really fun. That was a fun. lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stayed there till sundown, watched the sunset. It was really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Went back to the car and... The Airbnb. And then the next morning we went back along the cliffs after going to that same breakfast place again. And then we drove back to Lisbon. Mm -hmm. to an area just north of that called Sintra. Yeah, uh, before that we stopped at this little oh, yeah. bar hub thing outside of town of Lisbon and got some grub. Mm -hmm. Lindsay got a blue burger, it was very interesting. I was not expecting it. Mm -hmm. The bun was bright blue, like candy blue. So that was interesting. Um, and then that night we just went to a brewery that was near our Airbnb and we met this really, really nice <laughs> uh, guy who was the owner of the brewery named Sergio. He, uh, he was very nice. He spoke a little bit of broken English, but very well. The funny part is he uh, was asking us where we were from. He said, oh, the United States. I used to work there. And he said, I sold drugs. And, and we're we, all like, we're like, whoa, damn, that's a tough life. Like, wow. And then kept talking, kept talking. And then he was talking about his work and he said, yeah, and the pharmaceutical. And then we're like, oh. oh. <laughs> So, Not drugs, drugs, drugs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we thought that was funny. Yeah. Um, and we ate this moose. Oh, the moose. So good. We tried a little bit. So we saw this little kid eating the moose and he like inhaled it. So we're like, oh, like, we'll try it. We're here. We're on vacation. So we got one of the moose. Mooses? One of the mooses? Anyway. Um, we tried it a little bit and we're like, uh, that's not very good. And then someone was like, why don't we mix it up? So Kyle starts mixing it up and he tries it and he's like, this is so good. And so we each passed it around and we're like, oh, so good. It was so we like, we were kind of fighting over it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like animals, which yeah. is a little embarrassing, but there weren't many people there. So it but, was delish. And then this one lady came over to get some moose. And Pierce was like, get that one, get that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and she, and in Portugal, she's like pointed at us and was like, like said something in Portugal, but we had Portuguese. no, oh, Portuguese, and, but we had no clue what she said. But uh, so we imagine she's her saying like, oh yeah, we saw you guys inhaling that like yeah. animals or something. Yeah. But, but it was good. So the next morning we went to the grocery store and had a really nice breakfast on the balcony together. We weren't sure if it was going to rain or not, so we decided to just go out, do what we could do until it started raining. First stop was Belem Tower. This really, really cool uh, 16th century fortification that is out over on water. It's designed as a defense system uh, to Lisbon, and it was really cool. It was very pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just cool to see the waves crash against it. And We didn't get to go inside of it because it was closed, but it was worth it just to see it, see it on the outside. There are also some other really cool structures surrounding that. Oh yeah, the uh, Padre... I forget what this Padreo is. Padreo dos Descomprimentos. Primentos. It's called the Monument to the <laughs> Discovery. Uh, so this is really cool. It's a monument of uh, the Portuguese navigators of the 15th and 16th century and of Prince Henry. A very, very cool big structure. Very well designed. It was built in 1960. Yeah, good design. It was really mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, and then after that, we walked around and ended up finding a restaurant to eat at. And then after that, since we were on vacation, of course, there was this local bakery nearby that had been open since yeah, it 1872. Was, it was it 150 was, years old. Yeah, it was 150 ago. years old. It was really cool, really nice. And we decided to stop in and get pastries. After that, we decided, hey, let's go to a winery. 
and we went to a winery. Because we were on vacation. Because we were on vacation. <laughs> and nobody was, like, there was no host or anything, so we walked in, didn't see anybody, just kind of stood around. The hostess came, said, oh, sit anywhere. And what would you like? We wanted a flight of wine, but couldn't do that because they only did that on Tuesdays. And uh, we were like, okay, we'll just take a glass of wine. And she said, four euros. I was like, well, how much for the whole bottle? And she's how? like, seven euros. <laughs> yeah, so we were like, well, just, can we just buy the bottle? And she said, yeah, you can buy the bottle, but you can't drink it here. So we were like, all right, let's just go home. So we went home. Watched a movie and then. Drank some wine. And yeah, went to That bed. was it. It was nice. And then the next day, one of the things I really wanted to do, it was good. It worked out because it was really rainy that day, but we went to the aquarium. Yeah. Um, Au Scenario du, de Lisbon. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to pronounce that because I'm in French mode. Yeah, so that was really cool. Um, I guess it's the largest in Europe, which is awesome. Got to see an ocean sunfish for the first time. Yeah, he was pretty cool. Yeah, mola yeah. mola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the aquarium itself was just neatly designed because it was just a gigantic aquarium and it had just like different sides that you could look from top and bottom yeah and they had some art installations too and that was one of my favorite it was playing music it had chairs and you could literally sit in there for like two hours and trust me i would if i could but yeah the aquarium was sweet it was awesome yeah liked it a lot i did too it was really nice after that we went to a nice restaurant in downtown lisbon then just got to walk around saw some pretty famous sites yeah and we, it took us a really long time to get home because our Airbnb was in Sintra, which is about four, 45 minutes away because of all the traffic and stuff. So, All right, so the next morning we had a nice breakfast in downtown Sintra and decided to go to Quinta de Regaleria and Palace de Peña, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and they're... These really cool castles and palaces on the top of the hill that you can see from pretty much everywhere in Sintra, which is really awesome. Yeah, it was really, really cool. The palace itself was created in the early 1900s, and I think everything, like the garden around it, finished at uh, like around 1905, 06, 1906. So it, may, it looked super old, but it wasn't as old as you would think it was. It was really cool. There was a lot of different nooks and crevices to where you mm -hmm. could go downstairs. There were caves, um, which were really cool. At one point there was a cave where if you didn't have a flashlight, like you were SOL'd. <laughs> my, Pierce, my brother hit his head really hard. Yeah, it was so, it was, oh man, we could hear, <laughs> like I could hear his from like, from like 40 feet away. It, it sounded <laughs> so bad. Um, and another funny thing about the cave is like there was some water coming in and you could barely see the light at the end of it And there's a duck in the cave And he just looks really lost. Yeah, he's the, like, the he's duck, like, where's everybody at? Yeah, the duck was super lost. Um, but yeah, it was really cool and we decided to uh, have, a, have a drink there before we went to the palace We decided to take a bus up to the palace We were thinking about making a hike up to it, but we were running out of time since we had a flight to catch. And it sounded like it was going to take an hour and a half and that it was really difficult. So we decided not to and we took a bus and uh, it was a really, really cool old little palace uh, constructed in 1854. <laughs> and it was used for um, a lot of the kings and queens of Portugal as like a way estate, I guess. Um, and it was really cool. I looked over all of Sintra and it looked it looked all over everywhere. It was on top of a mountain. And it was it was really pretty. It was really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. We, we think we well, I guess I liked the gardens a little bit more because there was a little bit more to see. I thought the architecture of the palace was really awesome though. The gardens were really cool because you were immersed in like greenery and mm -hmm. stuff like that. A little easier to escape the crowds a little bit. Yeah. And then after that we went back to our brewery. And uh, we just had some grub and beer mm -hmm. before we headed out on our flight. <laughs> our flight. So let me tell you. This is where video one ends, so stay tuned for video two. You won't want to miss it. Action.